weather away from Australia. We play folky, rootsy, rocky music. <laughs> we come from a small towns, middle class background, and uh, grew up listening to the best of the 60s and 70s music. Good, I think, come from a solid a foundation of, of good music, you know, a time where music was, was played on instruments and... Melodic. Melodic music, yeah. Do you like festival vibe going with everyone singing so Starting on my 
she's only just begun The waves came to us through our grandmother. My grandmother first. Oh, okay, our grandmothers. Uh, we were travelling around Australia and looking a little dishevelled and uh, underfed. And when we returned home, our grandmothers embraced us both on separate occasions and said, oh, our little waifs have come home. So we went, right, that's, that's the name of the band. And my grandmother had been horrified at my parents. She said, Josh, you look like a waif. <laughs> <laughs> So and and it and it stuck and and it served us it served us well for very uh, for many years because I think it did represent you know the lifestyle and the ethos of the band. However, <laughs> I I you know since we've we've moved on we actually have you know separate lives we're married and children. I I feel like it, it's not as relevant. I don't feel so much a waif anymore. And um, sometimes I just sort of want to. Get a bit of distance from that, from that, um, from that name. I can't believe you said that <laughs> after all we've been through. Sorry. I just can't listen. <laughs> <laughs>
that we're going to perform today um, and it's called One More Year and it, it's a song that I wrote about um, Donna and I, our childhood experience of growing up on a fishing camp and, and how that, um, you know, that's, that way of life is now threatened through um, the global eco economy and I, I was inspired to write the song because Donna decided to make a film on the fishing camp and the fishermen there and um, and she started you know interviewing our father who's a fisherman and and uh, just documenting our lives there. I'm going to de dedicate this to my mother and father who are flown over from West Australia. <laughs> See the gig today. And uh, it's a difficult time of year for him to get away because he's a salmon fisherman and the salmon are a running.
And I go to the west coast of the autumn I got some family history there It's where my papa and my father Fish those windy shores Year after year Fish those windy shores And now the sea begins the annual migration Schools of silver Swimming west to spawn We watch for shadows on the shoreline And when they come to rest The race is on When they come to rest And the tides will keep Turning over this bay The big sea washes This whole beach away And schools can take rest along these shores cause we got one more year and we won't be here no more some people cannot understand it they just think killing things but it ain't no good but for three families Three generations hauling salmon. That's our livelihood, and we haul salmon. But the sea don't give up the spoils easy. For man and fish, survival's at hand. Mother Nature, she plans it out pretty even. Every school that runs free, the next one we land. Every school running free. And the tides will keep turning over this bay. The big sea washes this whole beach away. And the schools can't take rest a long way shows. Cause we got one more year. And we won't be here no more. this woman And I know that death is a law in nature The death of a way of life can mean the death of a man Big fish feed off little fish And big men feed off those who work with their hands Yeah, they feed off those who work with their hands Thank you for listening to that, it's from my dad. We've got a very uh, special guest coming on stage now. Earlier this year we were invited to play a song, uh, record a song for the Kev Carmody tribute album which was released recently. It's an amazing album, he's written some amazing songs and we're very happy to have Kev come up and sing. From Little Things Grow With Us.
we've never rehearsed this. We fly and blind. But we're going to enjoy it. Gather around people. I'm going to tell you a story. It's an eight year long story of power and pride. British Lord Vesti and Vizzling Yari were opposite men on opposite sides. Vesti was fat, full of money and muscle. Beef was his business, broad was his door. Vincent was lean, spoke very little. He had no bank balance. Our dirt was his floor. From little things, big things grow. From little things, big things grow. Garingy were working. Nothing but rations when once they had gathered the wealth of the land. Daily the pressures got tighter and tighter. Garingy decided they must make a stand. Picked up the swags and they started off walking and out what it creeped. Set himself down. Don't sound like much, but it sure got tons to offer. Back at the homestead, then in the town. Sydney there, big city of light. Daily he went round, softly speaking his story. To all kinds of people there, from all walks of life. Vincent sat down with big politicians. This affair, they told him, it's just a matter of state. You let us sort it out, or your people are hungry. Vincent said, no thanks. We know how to wait. cities and towns. Eight years went by, eight long years away, to one day a tall stranger appeared in the land. What was his name? Whittlem. Hey! Came with lawyers. Great ceremony. Through Vincent's fingers, poured that handful of sand. From little things, big things grow. From little things, big things
story of Vincent Lignari. But it's a story of something so much more. How the power and privilege cannot move the people who know where they stand and stand in the law. From little things, big things grow. 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 Our spirit walks with you. See ya. <laughs>